Hi, in this and the next tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to create a player list and leaderboard, and at the very end, how to connect it with my name text tutorial. I thought I would need 10 minutes for everything, in the end it took a bit longer though, but it's beginner friendly explained and you can learn a lot. Let's begin with the player widget, so right click in the content browser, Click on user interface widget blueprint. I'll call it wb underscore player entry. Opening that in here, I want to add a new size box as the first element here. And also changing it here from fill screen to desired. In the size box, I'm adding a new horizontal box. And in the horizontal box, I'm adding a text. Then the text, I will start a little bit. You can do it however you want. I'll add a bit of padding. Also changing this here to regular and decreasing the font size a bit. Then I also want to add a background. So I right click on the horizontal box and click on the wrap with an overlay. And for our background, I'm adding here a new border to the overlay. Also making sure to move the overlay above the horizontal box so it will be rendered behind our text. On the overlay, I will set it to fill horizontally and vertically. Then I will also add a super transparent black background here and adding a bit of padding to the top and bottom so i'm doing that so later we can distinguish the player widgets better if they are in the list and next i'm uh, clicking here the size box and defining a general width of our widget so Clicking here on width override and setting this maybe to 450. Then clicking on the horizontal box and center that horizontally. So now, uh, if you have already an UI setup, you can do it in here. Or you can like adding these widgets in here. Or creating a box that contains these widgets. If not, you need a new UI setup and I will show you now how to create that. So I'm creating a new user interface, widget blueprint, call it wb underscore UI. And first adding a new canvas panel. And in this canvas panel, I'm adding a border. I'm directly renaming this to border player widgets background. Setting the anchor here to top center, moving that a bit down here on the y axis. And also setting the alignment here to 0.5 on the X axis, because then we can set here the position X of our border to zero. And on the position Y also to zero. I um, also want to add here background maybe, you can do that. So I would set, set it to black, maybe something black transparent. Actually, we can also add a cool, cool background blur here. Removing the padding and adding a bit of, bit of blur. Okay. And in here, first click again on the border here on our border background because that has a fixed size at the moment. 
and we can set it here to size to content. If we do that, it gets here super small, but once we're adding stuff, it will scale automatically and adjusting to what we have in there. So take that. In the background blur, I'm adding now vertical box. If you don't have a background blur, you can also add it directly then to the border. So we add it now here. And first, I will add a new text that will be our headline. Adding this and maybe also increasing the font size, making this a bit transparent, calling this layer list or so, and adding a bit of padding to the bottom, maybe 25, and to the top, also a bit of padding. And now we can add another vertical box to our existing vertical box. And I will call this player, player container. And now for testing how it looks, we can add a few of our player entry widgets. We'll search here for player entry. And just adding a few of them. Um, yeah, or headline, we can click on that and also center that horizontally. And now when we're playing, uh, let's make sure that this widget here will be added to the viewport. So in the map, where we wanna display our player list, you need a custom game mode or player controller class might be that you have already those classes, like classes that are not the default ones here, then you can just use them, add the blueprint in there. But I'm using only the default third person template, game mode and player controller. So I wanna create new classes for that and also show that now here. So starting with the game mode, I'm click on the plus and creating here new calling this bp underscore gameplay uh, gm and then the player controller class also clicking here on the plus and calling this bp underscore gameplay pc so make sure they are here both uh, selected and for the default pawn class I will also switch back to the third person character or you can use whatever on you have there. So, but let's start with the player controller. So going in there in the event graph and I'll create a new function and call it setup UI. Also, I wanna call this setup UI on event begin play. So now this uh, or like player controllers in general are running individually on each player but also on the server and we don't want that the server is creating a widget or so um, so that's something that is only should only be relevant for the local player and to check that we're doing in the setup ui function a branch can add here node is local controller. And on true, we want to create a widget. And this widget is our UI. Also, it makes sure always if you create widgets or like UI widgets, then you want to store this return value in a variable. And make sure here to promote this to a variable. Make sure it's not promote to local variable, should be promote to variable. Click on that, okay. UI underscore ref, and adding this to viewport. So if we're playing now, then we can see the playlist widget. But I will change it now that 
you can only see the player list when you are holding down tab for example and yeah if you release it again then the player list disappears again so to show and hide the player list we can go to our ui class here and adding in the graph a new function and calling this show player list and we need to go to designer one to the designer and to the border player widgets background and make sure that this is a variable so it's accessible in our graph and by default we can set the visibility to collapsed then in the graph and in this function here that we just created we now can take our border player widgets background and set the visibility to let's say not hit testable self and all children it's actually same as or like similar to visible but not interactable anymore and since it's just a widget that shows us some stuff um yeah it's better to go this way because yeah we don't want to interact with it um to this function here we need to select it and add here input find this b show for example adding a branch here and connecting to true with set visibility and duplicating this and defaults make sure that you're setting here the visibility to collapsed then we can go to our player pc and adding here a new tab input there we go and here we can get our ui ref and say show player list on pressed when show it duplicating this on false also connect the ui ref here on false or on released we want to set it to false and if you're playing another time we can hold tab to show the player list and that was it actually for the first part and in the second part i will show you how to populate this player list with actual players and also how you can turn this into a score or leaderboard so see you then